All right, to begin, this is a wall clock. It is currently just standing up on the desk. It has like a flat spot on the bottom. So first thing I'm gonna do is lay this down on the table. If you have like an older clock where the door hinges are uh, on much weaker wood, uh, something I would recommend is using something like a backpack. This here is my camera bag. And just using it to hold the door open that way, not all that weight of the door is on the two hinges. Right, next, uh, move the hand to the top of the hour. Whenever you're taking uh, apart like a clock face, we always move the hour hand up to the 12 position, the striking position. And we do that because it's easy to remember which way it goes back on. Locate the four screws holding in the dial uh, on this clock, they're in the four corners, and then take those out. Another tip I have, keep screws in a small magnetic dish just like this one. Uh, once you have all four screws removed, the dial should slide right out. Like this. The makers of this clock decided to put an extra step uh, just to annoy me. They put this in the way of the movement. You can see how uh, opened up the springs are. That's because this clock is fully unwound, just about. You can see here the full uh, gong hammer. Uh, so here I have my key, I, uh, I think it's like a size 7 or something. Alright, I can tell here that something is wrong with this mainspring, so that's pretty dangerous to touch. Uh, I probably won't be fixing this, it's really just not worth it. Uh, I wound this one up a bit, you can see how much tighter it is compared to this one, which was, this one's almost completely unwound. Uh, the reason uh, sometimes this happens is because poor lubrication in the springs. Uh, this movement has probably never been serviced ever, I doubt that, so uh, it probably has its fair share of gunk built up, but again, besides any oiling, uh, it's really no, there's really no uh, value here worth in restoring these. Alright, here's one good look at the movement before I put this thing back together. Uh, here is the spiral gong. Oh, yeah, by the way, these weights, they're fake. They don't do anything. See? So if you see weights on your clock and you pick them up and they feel empty, they're fake. Your clock is actually driven by two springs. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thank you.